Vanilla old school escape guys. Hey guys, this is Vanilla here and welcome to my second progress video. So I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed the last one and today I'm going to do some skilling. So I'm going to start by making some strength potions to train my herb lore. As you can see, I've only got level 23 herb lore at the moment. So it definitely needs some work. As always, I'm going to do a quick birdhouse run and collect my battle staves. And then I'm going to do a few of the wilderness easy diary tasks. So I'm going to visit the Fountain of Rune, the Chaos Temple, and I'm going to make sure that I'm wearing a team cape. And as always, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you get notifications on my latest videos. So then after that, I'm going to do some training for Hunter. I think I'll probably go to Black Salamanders and then we'll just see how we go. So I'm going to get my ingredients out of the bank. So I need vials of water. I need terramins and I need limpwort roots. All I need to do is combine the terramin with the water then hit all. And then the limpwort root with the taramin potion unfinished. And it's super fast experience, which is pretty cool. I am all for that super fast experience because, I mean, you've only got so many hours in a day. So I am just going to do this until I have used up all of the stuff in my bank. And I'll see how far I get. One thing I'm looking forward to is the Nightmare of Ashihama boss monster coming out. It's actually supposed to come out today. So it'll be fun to just have a little bit of a peek and see what that's all about. Apparently it's a boss monster where you go in as a group. And it sounds like people will pretty much all get some sort of a reward as long as they do a minimum amount of damage. I'm not entirely sure how strong you'll have to be for it though, but I mean it's still good to have new content, like I'm all for, you know, learning about new stuff. I don't know if you saw my last progress vid, but I was pretty apprehensive about going into the wilderness and I mean rightly so, I haven't been there very much. And there are so many PKers, so I'm still a little bit nervous, but also a bit excited. I've actually never been to the Fountain of Rune, and that's one of the easy diary tasks for the wilderness. So it'll be kind of cool to see it. Like, I've heard it's really beautiful. So when I go into the wilderness, I'm going to make it more of a tour. Not necessarily the most efficient route, but... Just because I think it'll be kind of interesting to show you guys what I think is my sort of first impressions exploring stuff. Because I'm sure I'll come across lots of different things. Awesome. So I finished up with the stuff I just had lying around. And that got me to level 28 herb lore. So that's great. I'm trying to just get all of my stats as high as I can but in a balanced kind of a way. So now to do my birdhouse run. Usually I would wear my graceful, but I can't be bothered today. I got out a little bit of cash just so that I can get my battle staves on the way back. So one thing I do want to do is actually make a 1 to 99 hunter guide. But I am still only hunter level 69 and I'd kind of like to be at least a bit closer to level 99 before I make that guide. So back to the rock, grab my battle staves. And let's see exactly how much I got from my birdhouse run just for fun. Wow, so that was actually um, really good. So I got a hunt. Oh, wait, hang on. So I got 167,583 coins worth of stuff. 
And this, the magic seed, is worth heaps, 133,000. So that's like a really awesome treat. Because you can get things like spirit seeds, magic seeds, you seeds, and they're all really good to get. So always do your birdhouse runs. They are awesome. And yeah, check out my guide if you haven't already. <laughs> so now I'm going to get ready to go to the Fountain of Rune in the wilderness and just do a couple of those easy diary tasks in the wilderness. I'm going to purchase a charged amulet of glory because that will mean I can teleport from the wilderness up to level 30 just as another, I guess, protection mechanism. So I've got everything I need for the low level alchemy. I've got my spottier cape just for that weight reducing property and the boots of lightness. So I've got guides on both of those if you want to know how to make them for free. I've got my team cape already and I'm just going to give this a bit of a try. I'll grab a little bit of food. I might bring a weapon just because, well, it's good to have a weapon. Okay, I've got my super strong iron scimitar. And I may as well put on my super amazing anti-dragon shield as well while I'm at it. So I'm looking pretty fierce. And I'd say I'm about ready to go. So I'm a tiny bit nervous, but let's just see how we get on. So I think I'm going to go to the Fountain of Rune first. So apart from my previous video where I entered the wilderness, my main memories of the wilderness are here from when I was much younger and I was a free-to-play member. So it looks like I need to head quite a lot north and I'd like to reiterate that there are other methods that you can use to head up north. Um, but I'm just going to run because I want to do, I guess, kind of a first impressions of what I see as I go along kind of a vid. So let's put on my team cape. Woo! So that's the first task done. So that is super cool. I'm pretty keen to learn a bit more about PKing because to be honest, I... Don't really know a lot about PKing builds or like the best approach. So this is where I did my um, black salamander tutorial. So I have been here before, um, but this is a really great spot and I might even go and train on them after I've done a couple of these wee tasks. A free steel arrow. It looks like you can fish nearby. So I wonder what you can catch. Cage fishing. Maybe you can get lobsters. I'm not 100% sure. Oh. What are these? Red spiders. Poison. Oh, poison sounds bad. I'm going to avoid them. And that looks like a lesser demon. So that's good to know they're there. Yeah, back when I originally played RuneScape, I remember going to fight, I think they were the greater demons, and they were at the very top of the wilderness. And that was the furthest that you could go. Man, I'm so far north. So I think this is the furthest I've really been apart from that other video. So as you can see, I'm unlocking lots of music tracks. I'm hoping this is the Fountain of Rune because I don't actually know. Um... It looks kind of cool though, whatever this thing is. What is this? It's really pretty. 
Oh, it shakes a lot. It looks really cool, whatever it is. Okay, so it turns out I've gone past the Fountain of Rune, but I have found this really cool looking place. If anyone can tell me what it is, that would be cool just because I'm kind of curious. Okay, so let's actually go to the Fountain of Rune now, which is to the east of where I am. So this is actually pretty cool. This fountain of rune thingy. Wow. Let's do some low level alchemy. Yay. So I've just done a little bit of reading on what you actually do here. So it says you can charge your dragon stone jewelry on the fountain of rune. And you need to have completed the hero's quest to recharge the amulet of glory. And necklaces and combat bracelets require the completion of the legend's quest. So this can also recharge the ring of wealth. So that is cool. Look at all of those cool runes that fly out of it. So now that I have done that, I need to find the Chaos Temple. So it turns out the Chaos Temple is on the other side of the wilderness. So we get to do a little bit of exploring. Bye runes! Let's go this way, just for fun. So that is where I used to go in free to play. And I think it was like one of the best monsters you could get. Look at that thing! Whoa! Oh my god! 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 Chaos Elemental, whatever that is. It's really strong. Um, oh my god, stop it. Is it done? Ah! <laughs> Shit. This wilderness thing is so scary. Oh wow, it takes off your weapons and stuff. Apparently it's one of the hard diary tasks, but I am definitely not going to attempt that today. Let's just do one challenge at a time. So that looks to be the mage arena. Some men. Something I can handle. Well, that was exciting. To be honest, this wilderness place seems pretty quiet. I haven't actually seen anybody here yet. And it looks like there is an agility training area nearby. That's kind of interesting. Oh, there's lots of these things. Ooh. Let's go in. Can I go in? Let me in. E. How do I get in? So I've never actually tried the Wilderness Agility course. I may as well give it a go. Oh. This is a dangerous agility course. It's even got monsters in it. So that was interesting to try. This is really pretty. Look at it. It sparkles. Um, and there's a lot of icy looking things, which seem really strong, so we're not going to spend too much time around them. And some sort of blue rock. Oh, 
Oh, that looks scary. Actually, it's not that scary. Prospect. What is this rock? Oh, they're runite rocks. That is really cool. But sadly, my mining is not high enough. And look, there's some free runes. Let's take those. I have unlocked the music track Deep Wildy. Look, more runes. That's nice. So I have made it through the deep wilderness. So now I'm just heading south to get to the Chaos Temple. So there are some people here. One of them has a skull on his head. So I'm a bit intimidated by him. And um, also the other person with a skull on his head. This is a bad start. Um, yeah, I'm just going to run because I don't know what else to do. Or maybe I'm going to die. Wow, this wilderness thing is scary. Okay, so I lost some objects, which is fine. So it turns out that's a place with a lot of PKers. Maybe I should even just run back without anything. I'm just going to grab a whole lot of food and then I'll run back. And I'll try a different world without all of those PKing people because I don't really want to fight. Let's switch. That one's got not many people in it. Let's give it a go. So one thing I've learned today is be very careful around the Chaos Temple. I did a little bit of reading about the Chaos Temple and apparently... You can get the wine of Samarok from there, and that's worth quite a lot of money. So I guess that's why there are PKers hanging out there to try and catch people who are trying to get that wine of Samarok. So I have a lot of walking to do. So I just need to run in and pray and then run out. It probably would have been smart to bring some stamina potions. Oh, there's a green dragon. Looks kind of cool. And yeah, there's multiple green dragons and someone's put a cannon there. I think you can make some pretty decent cash um, on those green dragon things. So maybe that's something I should try. I'm getting so many music tracks. I'm a little bit sad about losing my cosmic runes that I just picked up. Well, these things look kind of scary, whatever they are. Looks like some sort of a graveyard. Okay, according to my map, this is the Forgotten Cemetery. Somewhat haunting. One called Ian. I wonder what he sells. He sells team capes. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this looks a little more promising. I can't see any people, which is good. So now I can pray at the Chaos Altar. I better use some prayer points. Awesome. So that's that done. So if you give bones to the altar, it means that you get 3.5 times the experience per bone. So you can get the same experience here as at a gilded altar with two burners lit, but only using half of the bones. So it seems like it could be quite a cheap way to do it. As long as you don't get caught out by those PKing people like I met before. So you'd want to be really, really careful. Like I probably should have logged out when I saw the people icons on the map. And if you want to get the Wine of Zamorok, you need to use Telekinetic Grab. So the Wine of Zamorok sells for 1500 coins, which is pretty good. And apparently it respawns every 28 seconds. 
So just getting my calculator out, if you could get it twice a minute, so that would mean you would get about 120 per hour. And if they're worth 15 to 7 multiplied by 120, so that would be 183,240 coins per hour, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to leave this place because people could appear again and murder me, which would be bad. So I'm just going to head south. Then I will use my Amulet of Glory to get out of the wilderness. And then after that, I'm just going to grab some nets and some ropes and I'll set up at the Black Salamanders and get a bit more hunting experience. So one thing I advise is that when you go to the Boots of Lightness spawn net, you get multiple Boots of Lightness. So that if you get PK'd like I just did then, it's not really a big deal. So I've just got my spear set of Boots of Lightness. And I'm pretty much ready to go. That is really cute. Mammoth, level 80. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so cute. Oh, it's attacking me, but it's adorable. Look at it. Let's run away now. <laughs> wow, that's a scary looking thing. An ent. And some black unicorns. They look cool. And another ent. So there's a lot of strong things in the wilderness, especially if you're not wearing armor. Woo! So I have gone way too far north. Let's backtrack a little bit. Oh, a person. Now he looks a bit busy. I'm not worried about him. I don't want to hurt this ant thing. Do do. Oh, another person. That person's sort of moving. Hopefully they're not nah. They look pretty kind of noob like me. So I'm not that worried. Awesome. So this is where we need to set up. And there is a dude here already. Maybe he saw my guide. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, I do have a guide on black salamanders. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. Dude didn't seem very scared of me. I must look pretty chill. So I'm going to set up my traps. And we will see how I get on. Hopefully I get tons of experience and it doesn't take too long for me to get to level 70. So I'm getting super close to level 70, which is awesome. It's a really good milestone. Awesome, so I've just hit Hunter level 70, which is super great. So I hope that you enjoyed my progress vid. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next time, just drop me a comment. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys. Bye.